All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do the physical setup for our Arduino to Raspberry Pi connection. So the first thing we're gonna do is put the Arduino into the breadboard. You don't wanna do this too often. We have an Arduino Nano here. You wanna make the pins straddle the, the divot in the center. The rows are connected uh, on the left side and connect on the right side together. Uh, the, the holes in the rows are connected to one another but the divot is a break in that connection. So you wanna have the pins separated so they're separate electrically from each other. So you wanna go ahead and put the pins uh, straddling that row. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is hook it up to the Arduino, or sorry, the Raspberry Pi. So we're going to connect the USB uh, A port into the Raspberry Pi and then the, the other end into the Nano. And we should see it turn on. Okay, the rest is gonna be completed on the, uh, on the breadboard. So we're gonna go ahead and use uh, port D2. So you notice that the ports are, they're analog ports on the left-hand side, digital ports on the right. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and, uh, uh, if you'll notice on your, um, on your uh, LED, there's a long leg and a short leg. Okay, so if you can see that there, there's a long leg and a short leg. The long leg goes on the positive side. So wherever the electricity is coming from, that's the long leg. Okay, so we're gonna push the long leg into the D2, into the row for D2 pin. And we're gonna push the short leg into the column for, uh, for the ground column, which is on the negative. Okay, now this is just a column so far because we haven't hooked up the ground yet. Okay, then we're gonna take the ground, we're gonna use the Arduino ground pin. So we're gonna click uh, one end of the wire, jumper wire into uh, the ground pin row, and then put the other end into the column for the Arduino, or the column uh, for the uh, negative on the breadboard. Okay, and there we have it. Okay, now we shouldn't assume that this LED is going to work, so we're gonna go ahead and test it. We're gonna put the pin into the five volt pin on the Arduino, and then we're just gonna uh, connect this, uh, this wire to, the, to one leg of the, um, the LED just to test it, and notice it's hard to see in the video, but it does, in fact, turn on there. Okay, so we can be sure that if electricity comes through D2 at this point, uh, pin D2 on the Arduino, that the LED will function. All right, uh, best of luck. That's the hardware setup for connecting your Raspberry Pi to the Arduino.